Hi, I'm Johnny Erickson Tata, and I'm glad you enjoyed that radio program in which I talked about my father, John Erickson, a very special memory of him when he went camping with my husband, Ken, and me up in the Sierra Mountains in Central California. It was one afternoon that I watched him sit on the picnic bench, and he was picking through some driftwood that he had collected that morning. I noticed him choosing a, a big piece of bristlecone pine, all gray and dead, but with his whittling knife, Daddy started cleaning and carving it, you know, taking away all the dead bark and the dirt. Slowly while he worked, wiping the area with a oil cloth, in an hour or so, he had a beautiful piece of wood in his hand, no longer gray and dead looking, but smooth and shiny. I asked my husband, Ken, if he would uh, quick take a snapshot of um, Daddy carving and cleaning and creating something new and beautiful out of this old piece of dry wood. Well, when I saw the photograph that Ken had taken, I was amazed. Um, I decided to draw the image. It took me a good three months or so, but I was so pleased with the pastel pencil rendering, and here it is right here. And I hope you're pleased with it too. I've got to admit though, halfway through drawing this thing, I realized that I was, as I was working on this picture of my earthly father, well, it was kind of a picture of my, the way my heavenly father works in my life and in yours. I mean, we come to him all dry and dirty, and he takes the knife of his word and begins cutting away the bark, everything that's dead and ugly. He anoints us with oil, all the while creating something in our lives that's totally new, totally different from what we thought we could be. Old things have passed away, and we begin shining with the glow of our Savior. Um, I want you to notice something, though. Um, see where my father's knife touches the wood? It's not finished. That's because when I think of this knife in the hand of my heavenly father, the knife of his word, the word of God, when it cuts deep into us and transforms us into something fresh and new and different, we can't explain it. That miraculous transformation of what the Holy Spirit does in our lives, who can understand it? It's a mystery. And so I left it unfinished although it could be, let's say, a glint of the sun. Anyway, um, it, it's, it's just something that I love and it's hanging here on my office wall and I thought that you might enjoy it. And uh, it is an example of 2 Corinthians 5, 17, which says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old is gone and the new has come. And that's what this drawing, which I call my, my, um, my, my father's creation, is really all about. So next time you're here visiting us at the International Disability Center and you come by my office, take a look at it hanging on my office wall.